Hello, this is my opportunity today to spend some time with you to talk about uh, the machine that we have on the floor right now, which is a StarCap, Premier StarCap, sorry. It's an automatic push-through style capping machine with two stations. The first is a pre-spin station and the second is a final torquing station that you can preset and uh, the torque to the amount needed. Uh, I will discuss the Premier Star Capper today as this machine can also do a various range of bottle shapes uh, and sizes, but the caps are limited to the flat types typically found in pharma, vitamin bottles, and food products. The caps can also be lug metals, uh, metal lug caps, for glass jars and bottles, and we can apply these with great precision and not damaging uh, the lugs on the caps uh, because when you excess too much torque, you usually damage the lugs on the caps. So uh, the cap sizes would be about one inch diameter to a maximum of five inch in diameter for a maximum of one inch tall caps. Uh, bottle size can also range from very small diameter to a maximum of eight inch diameter bottles or jars. And the maximum height would be about 14 inch tall. So this machine has a vast array of samples it can do, but with flat type, <laughs> flat type caps. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot go with taller caps with this type of machine. Uh, this premier star cap on the floor we have now has been set up to do various sizes of bottles and jars in plastics, but it can, it can also do various materials such as glass and metal and different like uh, aluminum cans. The way the caps are fed into the premier star capper are usually via a cap so sorting elevator as they are flat caps and this is what is fed into the caps the best way, fastest way versus having vibratory feeder bowls for taller and odd shaped caps used in our other two previous machines that I mentioned pre previously uh, versus the star capper machine. And we have two sizes of cap sorting elevators as a, for standard caps. And we also have an oversized cap elevator for larger diameter caps, such as the one that we have on the machine floor here. Uh, the machine can go as high as about 120 bottles per minute. But again, we need to see and evaluate the samples first before we can commit to a speed. The first one for caps no larger than 3.5 inches have a six cubic feet of capacity. And for the 12 inch wide and with a 12 inch wide conveyor chain with slats to bring the caps up to the diverting chute and having the caps on the open face to drop into the chute that we have on the machine uh, onto a conveyor, which is motorized and it will drop back the, directly into the motorized star wheels. The other cap size sorting elevator we have is typically similar, but larger 19 inch conveyor chain uh, with eight cubic foot hopper for caps up to five inch in diameter. But again, sometimes depending on the speeds, we may need to go to an oversized elevator. The capping machine will, have, uh, will then have a dedicated size chute uh, for all, sides, all sorts of caps that will slide the caps onto the motorized fast feeding cap conveyor that I mentioned previously uh, to a dedicated uh, cap trap on a small servo driven star wheel to feed the caps precisely onto a cap trap for the first station pre-positioning. All this is fully synchronized absolutely with servo motors between the feeding star wheel uh, of the cap onto the cap trap and bottom star wheel and the second station servo torque applicator chuck also with servo motor. This way we can achieve higher speeds of cap placement and output of a smaller inline type of star wheel capping machines. Construction of the capper is also into a fully enclosed frame uh, with safety hinges on the front door and interlocks for personal security for doing maintenance on the machine. The machine is also fully motorized for the positioning uh, of all mobile axes of for the capping procedures. It has a built-in product profile feature that will have the machine adjust itself according to the product size it will need to do and has a recipe management that can be programmed for fast and easy changeovers versus manual adjustments found in other models that we have in our competition. It comes with dedicated tooling for each machine size caps for bottles there are snap and change parts such as the cap trap, bottle star wheel, cap star wheel, uh, cap chute and chucks. So rapid changeovers, again, is a plus with this machine. Uh, with capping, it is always important to have a system that will uh, inspect and reject either missing caps and having skewed caps or missing foil inside the cap station. We have many different types of rejects inspection systems for various types of products that are used for capping, such as this one here that we have on the machine. Uh, it's going through a detection arch that will detect if a cap is missing a foil inside the cap or it will reject it or not. If the cap has not reached the proper torque set up at the second station also, uh, it will be rejected. And if the cap has been put on crooked or skewed, uh, the cap low points will set up would also trigger the push arms to reject the balls into a bin or a shelf. 
This shelf, this one here particularly, it has a rollers that are slightly in a slope angle to have the bottles uh, go towards the end. And if a bin is full with trigger uh, line stoppage, and you can control all the amounts of continu continuous rejects also. If after three or five consecutive rejects, the machine will stop and will require to have someone see the reasons why rejects were made. So this machine we have here that we will see running in a few moments will be used for a customer that has given us a project to cap four inch diameter and eight inch diameter plastic bottles with either 110 and 100, 120 diameter caps. Uh, the smaller size bottles have speeds required of 70 bottles per minute and the larger one at speeds of 45 to 50 bottles per minute with very minimal rejects. The main issue when using caps of these diameters are that a lot of times uh, while they are in boxes, the caps tend to curve a little bit and they are very tricky to apply without having a cross thread and a cap will be misapplied or rejected. Uh, the use of inline spindle cappers are typically the types used for these bottles and caps, but they have a high amount of rejects and demanding more labor intense jobs as to remove from the reject and heighten tightening of the cap on bottles when or replacing back onto the line to redo again or having to go with a full rotary style capping machine that's sometimes costlier and far more change over parts. The Premier Star Kipper has dual servo chuck motors uh, for precise speed and torque application. It is very compact inline unit with star wheel handling and for precise bottle under cap station positioning. It has variable speeds up to 75 meters a minute. Uh, one set of dedicated tooling comes with the machine. Motorized height adjustable for all capping application as per recipe management and uh, for all uh, setup change for new size caps and bottles. It has a very sturdy frame with stainless steel cladding with height leveling pads, fully interlocked guard for operator's oper protection, uh, no cap machine stop option, and for recirculating bottles if no caps was applied, that's an option. Uh, no bottle machine stop, feed bowl or capping sorting elevator for flat caps only with this machine, a possible third final torque station can be placed if the caps have longer thread and for the application. And now what we have here is uh, what the customer is running on this machine here that we'll see a, sh a small demonstration uh, soon. Uh, what we have is a two pound bottle with 110 millimeter diameter cap. Uh, the machine here will automatically place, pre-spin the cap onto the bottle and the second station has it advanced. The second station will come down and do a final torque with the appropriate torque and then go out and see if the cap is really torqued on or missing skewed caps and so forth. Thank you for your time today and I hope you appreciate uh, seeing the machine and that uh, you are impressed with what we have. So uh, please feel free to give us a call, chat uh, with us and uh, we'll be happy to help you out uh, with your needs. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.